The American dollar done. Everybody's putting this out there. The dollar's going to collapse. The American dollar is finished. Well, I'm going to give you a more logical perspective on it. Do I believe the American dollar is going to collapse tomorrow? Absolutely not. It is the global superpower in everything we do with the American dollar affects the whole economy. But there is a side that we need to pay attention to that is extremely, extremely, extremely important. And it is by far the most critical time as an American or a global citizen to get your shit together financially. There is going to be no middle class. The middle class is getting wiped out, leveraged towards technology. The whole ecosystem on how we do business, how we communicate, how we move money is radically changing. Let me give you an example before I go into the facts, figures, numbers, logic. Okay. We went from you went into an actual bank, okay, and you had one bank and you had a banker. Then we went to interbanking, where basically they would call another bank and they would change the ledger on your account. Then we went to online banking, right? All these transitions were painful. Then you got a debit card where Visa transacted back and forth across a quantum system or a computing system, excuse me. Now we're moving to globalization of the monetary system, the borders collapsing, and any person, any person can basically do their own sovereign banking. So let's pause for just a moment there. This is what you're seeing in the panic in the traditional banking system and why why they're working so hard to get the infrastructure set up so that when the new system is launched or the new system is fully launched, excuse me, we're in the transition, the new system is fully integrated, they're already set up on the back end. This has been going on for a very, very, very long time. So I'm going to break down a more logical look at this, not a panic look at this, but here's the good news is that we've helped over 6,000 warriors worldwide get their shit together since 2020. As everybody looked this way, we look this way. We don't protest against anybody. We're not fighting against an invisible enemy. We're working harder on ourselves than we do anything else. We got set up in a very speculative asset called cryptocurrency, diversified, where dollar cost average in with a very strict exit plan for 2024. When we exit, we have a plan. We use things like index universal life insurance to protect our wealth, to protect our principal. Nobody can touch it. We can also borrow against and use the infinity banking concept. We diversified in business, precious metals, and we're now getting into real estate. And we help people with this in our Warrior Academy. I'm a licensed uh, insurance agent now, and I'm building my own insurance team. I'm also looking for motivated, inspired people who want to break free from the just over broke paradigm to join my insurance team. So in the description down below, we do everything under our Warrior Academy for protection. There's thousands of scammers out there. We will never proactively DM you on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, or any other platform. In the comments, if you see somebody telling you to contact them directly, that is not us. We do everything in the protection of our Warrior Academy, www.3twarrioracademy.com. All right, so let's dive into it and everything in the description down below. All right, so I'm going to take you through. There's a lot of information I'm going to present to you. I'd highly recommend when you watch my videos, get a pen and paper out every single day. Get a pen and paper out. If you make it through all these videos, you're in the top 1% in my opinion. Because what happens is it's that it's the old adage of squirrel, squirrel. We can't hold our attention for more than five minutes. And that's a problem, family. We have to be able to pay attention long enough so that we can build a thesis for ourselves. Okay. So I'm going to take you through a lot of different information, but I'm going to tie this all together. Yes. Do I believe the dollar dominance is starting to falter? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every superpower collapses. Study Ray Dalio, the changing world order. We're now in bad policies, economic decline, and heading into civil war. So when there's civil war, when they get different gender classes or uh, social, just say social geopolitical classes or anything to go against each other, does that make sense? Like classes going against each other within their own society, that's when they're turning us against each other. They're sitting at the top of the house laughing as we argue back and forth. The left and right get us to fight. That's basically how they keep us confused. And then they get everything set up They're like, all right, peace and love, guys. Let's all come back together. And the whole new system is built. But you have the opportunity to invest in the new system. You have the opportunity to get your shit together and get your family out of this just over broke paradigm. It's a key factor to what I'm about to teach you because some people are going to lose their job in the next 24 months leveraged towards technology. Okay, Pakistan paid in Chinese currency discounted Russian oil. 
This is a narrative you're going to see a lot. Think of the dollar and oil hand in hand. My computer's been going crazy this morning. I've had a little bit of a challenging morning. My tire was flat when I went out there to go work out. Uh, my computer shut off before when I was recording my last video. So we're just breathing through it. Resistance is the most powerful tool to help you with neuroplasticity. So I got a flat tire. My last time I was recording my video, everything just shut off. But nothing's going to stop me. Nothing. Because I'm powerful. I'm strong. I'm worthy. I'm abundant. So if I looked a little wrecked, it was I was getting ready to go to the gym <clears throat> and my tire's flat out there just life, right? So I jumped right into my YouTube video. There's things you can always do when things are not going your way. Okay. So nearly 20 countries want to join BRICS says senior Russian diplomat. The reason why I bring this up, I wanted to bring this up is since 2006 to 2009, there was a transition and there was BRICS that was created, the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Their combined GDP is now larger than America, right? So China is almost equal to America's GDP. But if you look at all those countries coming together, they're building a, I don't know if it's the right word. Sorry if I apologize, but if it's not the right word, but a coalition, a group of countries coming together that's much more powerful and dominant than the U.S. financial system as they continue to join together. So there's a slow transition happening. And yes, the dollar is losing its power, which I'm going to show you a document, uh, a more of a chart that shows you that part of it. But it's not going to be like everybody's panicking you on YouTube. Oh, it's going to be overnight. The dollar's going to collapse. The dollar's going to go to zero. No, it's not. If the dollar goes to zero, and, and I hope I this ages well, I'm sure it will, the whole economy would collapse. But yes, there is a transition from the dollar being the super global power. We're going into globalization. We're going into more of a, they call it an even playing field. They don't want to lose sight of the normal monetary system and the traditional banking system. And they know you can be a bank. So they are... Fudding the shit out of you, keeping you out of cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and distributed ledger technology so that you don't get your own inner banking system set up. And they'll get it set up on the back end, which I'm going to show you as we get to a point where eventually that we will be de-dollarized in more of an even playing field in the monetary system. Okay, So JP Morgan flags some signs of emerging dollarization. You're going to start to see a lot of this stuff. Okay, So signs of de-dollarization are unfolding in the global economy. Strategist for the U.S. biggest bank, JP Morgan. And I'm going to show you what they're doing about the de-dollarization. This is Goldman Sachs, another large, large, large organization, right? Uh, de-dollarization currency contenders. The U.S. dollar as a share of the global currency reserves has dropped from 72% in 2002 to 58% in 2022 amid the longstanding conversation of de-dollarization. So you're hearing this de-dollarization. See the transition from 72% to 58% since 2000. What is that? 20 years. So it's about 20 years it took to go down. What? Uh, what is the math there? Like, uh, that's at 12%. I'm doing the math really quickly in my head. It's been a kind of a jumbled morning. So basically, it took about 20 years to go. But the fact with cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and thus moving into this ESG narrative, environmental social governance, which is electric cars, gas, solar, wind. We don't really, they're transitioning away from this dollar, this uh, oil and dollar strategy, right? So we're starting to see it accelerate. So I believe that this will start to accelerate faster, okay? But there's a whole different transition happening, which is the blockchain technology. So you're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Partial, partial de-dollarization is possible, but China won't dethrone the greenback, even if it becomes the world's largest economy. JP Morgan strategist said dollar dominance isn't going away anytime soon. I agree with that, regardless of China's growth. Partial de-dollarization impossible is possible as China's yuan becomes a bigger part of the global commerce. De-dollarization can stem from sliding faith in the dollar or develops. That's key right there. Let me read that again. De-dollarization can stem from sliding faith. The only reason the U.S. dollar has value is our faith in it. That's it. It has no value to it. It's, it's not backed by anything. It's fake money. It's fiat. So that's my big thesis that I, I'm really preaching to people is that if you have fake money in your bank account, what are you doing? What, they don't have fake money in your bank account. We put our fake money into crypto. That's fake money too. So as that fake money goes up, I'm pulling it and putting it into businesses, precious metals. Now I'm getting into real estate as we transition into the bull run in 2024 and I'm securing it insurance, which will be around forever, which will be forever. That's what the wealthy use. Okay. Look up the Rockefellers and how they built their wealth insurance. Every single child has an insurance policy. 
Nobody can touch the insurance. Take away the infinity banking part of it and all the being your own bank and all that stuff. Nobody can touch your insurance. Okay, it's a very, very powerful way to protect your wealth. So partial, partial de-dollarization as China wants becomes a bigger part of the global commerce as we talked about. Um, diving into this, so JP Morgan. Okay, so this is where my thesis starts to kick in. Okay, I remember uh, Warren Buffett in 2020 as the C word shut us all down. Warren Buffett started to close out of most of his bank stocks, increase his position in Bank of America by 10%. Apple, technology, all this stuff going on. Okay. Bank of America is a global juggernaut in the banking system. He increased his position by 10%. And he closed out of most bank stocks and started moving into Japan. A big investment thesis in Japan. Okay. Everybody seems to be moving out of America in this last presidency that we have in place right now. It's been a transition. It's a transition presidency. That's what I'm calling it. There's something going on there with our presence seeming to give away our power, just transitioning us out of America, right? So there's something happening. I think we can all agree. This is, there's some, you know, I think the, the whole thing we can agree with BlackRock, uh, Larry Fink and Jamie Dimon run the monetary system, but this is what's actually happening, guys. JP Morgan, six Indian banks to settle dollar trades on Onyx blockchain system. So they are working with six large private banks to settle dollars on their own blockchain system. As they're telling you, cryptocurrency is a fraud. I guarantee you, wealthy clients in Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan are able to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay. Remember, BlackRock just set up their ETF for Bitcoin spot ETF that is going to be custodied by Coinbase. Okay. So we're going to watch this goes right here. Sorry, my computer is jacked, guys. So I'm doing the best I can this morning. <laughs> Let's get through this here. Let's see if I can get this going here. Headlines. Let's see if I can get this where we want it. Let me see if this is the right thing I had. It. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. My apologies. There we go. What do you make of the timing of this filing by BlackRock for a spot Bitcoin ETF? And why do you think that BlackRock would push ahead with this with Coinbase as its custody partner, given the legal and regulatory mess that Coinbase is in with the SEC right now? Absolutely, yeah. Well, I think there's uh, definitely there were trade-offs on the table that uh, BlackRock kind of waited out. Um, and I think pro there's probably been a lot of work that has gone into this application and uh, they they were probably thinking like, do we move this ahead or not? And and the decision was made to move ahead because the benefits probably outweighed the, the costs. I think there are definitely strategic moves in, 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 in submitting this application now at this point, given, especially given what's happening. I think uh, for Coinbase, this is a really good opportunity to showcase that one of the biggest asset managers is supporting them and is basically looking at Bitcoin more like a commodity and in, in filing this uh, ETF. Uh, so, so I think that really validates kind of the point that Coinbase is making about kind of the kind of assets that they, they offer for trading. Okay, so remember, Larry Fink, we watched the video and Larry Fink told us that he's like, I don't even think about Bitcoin. He's like, it's used for money laundering. So you, you're using a money, you think it's for money laundering, but BlackRock, BlackRock, is custodying their crypto, their their spot ETF with Coinbase. That, that's money. So you're doing money laundering? Is that what you're saying? And Coinbase select BlackRock provided Aladdin. Aladdin is a sophisticated, sophisticated AI trading platform, guys. So everybody's like, oh, Coinbase is going to, Coinbase isn't going anywhere, guys. They're on the stock. They, they were, they're a publicly traded company in America. This is all being set up behind the scenes. We're all being played. We're all being played. Coinbase isn't going anywhere. Coinbase is going to be a bank, I guarantee you. Kraken will be a bank, I guarantee you. Ripple will be a bank, I guarantee you. This is all a dog and pony show. We're being manipulated. The markets go up. The markets go down. The markets went down. Uh, Larry Fink and BlackRock start investing deeply into micro strategies. Vanguard starts going deeply into micro strategies as Michael Saylor and his company go and tap into the Bitcoin dip. Right? They're all getting accessed. Warren Buffett, oh, it's rat poisoning. New bank is a crypto friendly bank, right? They're all making big moves based on what is happening with globalization and the mon monetization of the banking system. So JP Morgan says Ethereum could be put into other categories by US Congress. Of course, of course, it got a pass, guys. It's part of the traditional banking system. Ethereum is deep, 
deep, deep in the banking system. Okay. And this came from Twitter here. I'm going to want to give credit where credit is due, but I just, I don't want to click on anything on my computer. I think this came from digital asset investor was on his channel. I just, my computer's acting crazy right now. So JP Morgan says Ethereum could be put into other categories. The key thing is us lock makers could put uh, ether into a new other category to avoid classifying it as a security, but to protect investors, according to JP Morgan's strategist. And this is kind of cool right here. I want to show you this. So this is Norway Central Bank using Ethereum to build national digital currency September 12th, 2022, as they're saying cryptocurrency is a fraud. And this is a nice little document here that they show if it's going to pop up on my screen. It's all in... Um, is that German, I think? So right here, you shows Ethereum. It's part of their ecosystem. So let's get me back on the screen here. All right. So that's what's going on, fam. <laughs> we're all being played in regards to, I guess we're not all being played. We all have access to this information. This is, you know, banks are not a nonprofit organization, right? And people, you know, will say to me like, oh, you tell everybody to go into your Warrior Academy. It's not a nonprofit organization, right? We run a business. We have 27 team members worldwide. So it's time about what I mean by this is everybody's like, the banks are doing this to us. The government's doing this. Nobody's doing anything to me. I wake up every single day and I can take action, right? I can study this stuff. I can make my own decisions. I can go out and invest in cryptocurrency if I want to. I can go set up an insurance policy if I want to. I, I, I choose. People choose. You choose to put your money in a bank. You choose to do your finances. It's a choice that we all accepted. That's why the monetary system is this way. We all have the ability to research. We have the ability to understand it at a different level. It's really what we focus on and what we pay attention to. That's what you're paying for. So if you're constantly going up and down, your emotions are up and down, you're getting wrecked all the time in cryptocurrency. That means you're more committed. You're more committed to getting rich quick than you are to getting wealthy for sure and understanding how to rewire the subconscious mind. Nobody's teaching how to change the foundation. We teach how to change the foundation. So I'm going to keep reporting this stuff. It's not really that sexy. It's not that exciting. It's not meme coins. It's not pump and dumps. But this is how you get wealthy for sure. As you understand the system, number one. As you create a game plan, number two. As you stick to your investment thesis, number three. And you put your blinders on and you stay focused. And once the fake money goes up, you get the fake money out and you secure it in real intrinsic value things that will be here for a lifetime. Gold, silver, real estate, businesses that are heavily weighted for the future, right? Life insurance, not the, not, they teach you how to insure your life, but they don't teach you how to insure your wealth. Trust me, banks are taking your money. They're taking your hard earned money and giving you 1% on your money. And then they're making 10% on your money like that. They're putting it in indexes, which we do in insurance or indexing your money. They're putting it into the capital markets and they're lending your money out. We just do that with our own money. That's it. It's that simple. It's not that complex, family. It's very, very strategic. It's very thought out. And it's understanding there is no get rich quick. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks you. Thank you for bearing with me through this video. A little jumbled mentally because the tar tire being flat threw off my neuroplasticity with my routine. And then my computer collapsed during the last video. And then a little bit of technical difficulties. But appreciate you guys. I love you. And um, have a great day. Warriors, <laughs> let's get your shit together. Let's go.